Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Paid. Yeah. Yo. We it's back, me. We, we back. here. We back. We back. We back. I'm gonna need that. Back, back. Yeah. Back, back. Hey, yo. Yeah. Talk to him. Talk to him. Yeah. Welcome back, fam. Welcome Episode back. six. Just that Vaseline weather on your lips. Make sure you got the Blistex, Carmax, mm. all that. Uh, a lot of people chapped out here. A lot, a lot of people, people ashy. ashy. Okay. Hands too. We've all been that. washing the hands. This is What's the up, Zen. Y'all? This is the Zen House podcast. Episode six. It's your boy Des Hines. It's your boy A Joe. And of course, Ross B. Talk to him, Ross B. Like Ross B. Yeah. Oh. This dude is um, sick. You are a sick man. Yeah. Don't ever compare me to that. <laughs> well, Never mind. Okay. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us again. We're back. We're back. We're back. You are here. Today, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to break down a real talk of the day, and we're going to put our input in and go from there. So, today's... Hold on one second. Make okay. sure you... um. Reach out to us. You know, you get your little Zen House beanie. Okay. We got here. The, we got the gray Talk ones. Talk to them. We got the, the green, green ones. Paid. And, and we, we got, got the, the official black. black. Yo. Stop playing with them. Beanies. Take care of them. Take care of your caps. Come on. Cover it up. Take it's care of your outside. dome. Dome piece. Make sure you brush your hair. Do all that shit. What else you got to do? Wash your ass. That's number one. That's year No, no, no. Hair wise. Hair wise. What do you got to do? You got to brush After? it. Brush that drink? Well, first off, condition, because a lot of people don't condition, because okay. even my, you know, it's low. It's not bald. It's low. Yep. <laughs> I condition still. Okay. You feel me? Got to make sure the scalp's clean. And then after, get off, get out the shower, mm-hmm. first thing, shout out to the Black Luxury. Take care of the beard. Take care of the hair. It's the oils. Okay. Got to oil mm. on the scalp. Moisturize. Because if it's not oiled, that's when your flakes looking like Christmas. Mm. Wow. Snowy. That's crazy. We don't want that. That is snow. We don't want a that. lot. Of, I see a lot of people itchy too. We want to put some lotion on and drink water. Your, your skin is drying out. You know what kind of lotion? It's only we only we only use cocoa. it here. Cocoa. In the words of Laney Joseph, cocoa, cocoa melon, melon butter. butter. Don't mess up. That's don't, it. Don't play. Apply, your, apply it. Don't play yourself. That helps. Don't, don't come up here <clears> itching <throat> either. Apply it. Oh, for all one. all races okay? too. Listen, apply it, yo. It's much needed. This weather. It's crazy. And don't be afraid to put Vaseline on your face, y'all. That's not a myth. Y'all, I, y'all I don't do up? it, but... I, I don't, I'm good in that I, department. I don't do that, y'all, but I'm y'all, not against it. Growing up, y'all didn't do that? Not me, yo. For real? I didn't do the Vaseline. Man, Mom Duke's over here like this. <laughs> Alex! <laughs> yo, my face was shiny as fuck. Alex, but your I mom tell definitely you. did the... I know she did that. Nah, she did that she shit. Put the spit in yeah, the that's nasty. I used to hate that. Nah. Alice used to come out looking like <laughs> a like disco ball. Look. <laughs> nah, who? Somebody hey killed guys. me. Somebody killed me. Say, yo, you put like the whole can of Crisco <laughs> on your face. Somebody killed me, and after that, I used to get on the bus like this, wipe my shit before I get on the bus, cause that shit. But it saved me. And Mama Joseph used to set you up for jokes, y'all. Nah, that joint saved me on the football field. Mm. That's Vas- true. Vaseline. Everybody yeah, Vaseline like, saved you a cold? lot. Nope, I got Vaseline on all over arms, under the shoulder pads. I hope y'all taking notes. This is secrets. Secrets. It helps you out. All What's right. Up? What we got? What we Getting got? back to the real talk of the day, we're going to break it down a little bit. So today's real talk is one day you will understand why God closed that door and you will thank him for it. So just to break it down a little bit, I uh, I feel like a lot of people, they want certain things in their life. They want this. They want that. They want it fast. They want it right then and there. Instagram. Right? And sometimes it don't happen, and you see it as an L, which, you know, it is. But in the grand scheme, that thing went wrong or didn't happen for a reason to set you up for what's really meant for you. So I I can speak for us. Um, the first thing that comes to my head with this real talk of the day is we – we're ready to make the move. We were ready to make the plunge to Zen, have Zen House. And it didn't work out quite how we wanted it at that time. Mm-hmm. Things got pushed back and then something called COVID came, pushed us all the way back, right? And 
it ended up happening at the right time. We told you about how long it took to get that signature, to get this building situated. But, you know, if we had opened at the, the time when we really wanted it, right in the middle of COVID. it would have been the middle of COVID. So imagine starting a business and you shut down right off the bat. That was a blessing in disguise. So and you're limited to five people <coughs> in here at once. Not five even, people, maybe mask. four people. You, some of you've tried it. Working out with a mask is the not worst. ideal. Yeah. That's not ideal. It's one of so, the worst things ever. But it, 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 hap- it happened, you know, for a reason that way. And there is a purpose and, and a reasoning behind it because now look at us. You know what I mean? So yep. um, sometimes... You're going to have some setbacks. Like you said, you're going to take some L's, but learn from those things. Mm. You know what I mean? Every loss is a lesson. That's no it. matter that's how it happens. That's, that's, that's a real talk. That's, a real that's talk. off the top, too. That's Damn. off the dome piece. Stop playing. It's the beanie. It's the it's beanie. Definitely. Yeah, the beanie got me, you know, thinking right. It's a fact, yo. People don't realize it. Yeah, man. So take that. That's in all aspects of life, too. That's not just work. Or just waking up in the morning, shit don't go your way. Sports, all that. If you're not starting this game, there's a reason behind it. Mm. Get your ass back in the playbook or back in the weight room or extra runs, whatever it may be. Go from there. And that could have been God telling us we weren't ready yet. Yep. Mm-hmm. We we thought we were ready, but maybe he was like, you're not ready. You need to experience this first. And when it happens, you can't see it. It's too close. In the grand scheme of things now, as we, some time passed and now we're looking back, now we can see that it happened for a reason. So don't be in such a rush. With to do a lot of things. One thing I can say that timing. as, a, a, as a, a whole, we decided to not panic. Yeah. that's a That was huge in regards to when we wanted to start, we made this leap of faith. We had... You know, limited funds, limited resources, but we did not panic. When things don't go your way, panic should not be the first thought. Nope. Because when you panic, other things start to unfold, and it makes that, digs that hole a little bit deeper. So you want to kind of stay out of that that realm of panicking. Reevaluate the situation, see what's going on, what can you do better, and go from there. And I, and I think, like, um, the, the, the best thing... Um, as far as like not panicking was that we all had each other mm-hmm. and we all had other people um, to talk to for and, and ask for advice so that we weren't in a position of, I right, what, like, what should I do? Are you Where you're feeling yourself? frustrated. Yeah. So in, in any situation when you feel like, all right, damn, damn, what should I do next? Ask questions. Yep. You know Seek what I mean? Help. Like, Seek help. There's always help out there. There's always help. You are not the first person to go through certain things. A lot of people have gone through some shit that you have no idea they went through. Just know that those people are out there, but you got to find them. You got to find them. And it's, you know, it's not always someone you know. Maybe, you know, you you post something, ask for some help. Don't be afraid to get help. It's there. There's people literally waiting to help you. So, you know. But, but with that being said, be solution oriented, mm. meaning find a way first. And if you cannot find a way, you've exhausted all mm. aspects of trying to figure it out. Then you go for help. And then you still look for that answer while exactly. you're looking for help. Always but, looking. But that should be ingrained in everyone where they learn to do things for themselves first. And if they exhaust all aspects of learning, then you get help. That's all I got to say. That's real life. Um, That's today's real talk of the day breakdown. Keep it simple. And we out of here. Peace. Hey. Enjoy. Have a great weekend. Don't get too crazy. Damn, I popped this off. You know what I'm saying? It's Christmas time. Get crazy. Don't spend all your money. Mm. Hold on, hold on. We got that's gonna be another that's another topic. That's a a great another topic, but (laughs) hey, we out.